In today's video, we'll be working on a frigid air stove. The issue that we're having is when you turn on the stove, usually what happens, you'll hear the igniter click. And then once the igniter clicks, it hits the gas and lights up. It should happen pretty fast. But what's happening on this burner is it's not clicking. And the only way I can get it to click is if I play with the knob. Right now it's not working at all. But you can see here, it should happen pretty fast when you turn it on. Right now, this one is not clicking and it's not turning on. If I keep playing with it, it'll, it'll work. But as you can see on the rest of the ones, you shouldn't really have to make any effort when it's lighting. First thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to remove these knobs. Once you remove these knobs, there's screws when you open the oven door underneath that will give you access to the panel. Go ahead and remove the knobs. When you look underneath, you'll see there's two screws. One that actually holds the panel and one that just basically uh, isn't. So you want to remove the one that is holding this panel. There's one on each side of your stove. Remove the screw on both sides. And once you do that, the whole panel will come out. Now the problem is going to be this spark module right here. And the way we can find out is I'm going to actually swap them to test it. So now I've swapped it and we're going to test it to see if this will turn on quickly. You can see it turned on right away. So at this point, you know that you're going to have to remove this module. You can either replace the whole thing, or here we have these two uh, spark igniters that are working. And we're basically just going to sl slice it here. We're going to use uh, ceramic nuts. The reason we use ceramic nuts is because they are able to withstand high heat. You don't want to use plastic, especially if there's heat venting out of here. So the ceramic is for high heat, and if you slice it and put that in, it should work fine. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the oven and just make sure that there's no electricity going when you're splicing to your spark igniter. When you pull these modules out, the way they go inside is they snap on onto this uh, little lever, uh, sorry, onto this little lever. So they basically, once you push it in, it just snaps in. When you take it out, you have to squeeze the sides and that's how you pull it out. Just be careful when you're doing it. Don't be too rough because what happens is it'll break. And if it breaks, it's not gonna sit on there properly and you'll have to uh, purchase new ones. So here we've spliced it, we've put the new spark igniter in, and next what you wanna do is you wanna plug in your uh, stove. Once you plug it in, go ahead and test it. Responded right away, test the other one. And there you go. If this video was a help, please subscribe.